Nice to meet you. My name is Micah, and what's your name? Javid. All right, nice to meet you, Javid. Uh, what's the name of your store? Uh, senseless. Brendan. My name is Micah. Nice to meet you, Micah. Okay, uh, what's the name of your store? Uh, the name of my store is Heat Check. My name is Christian. Okay, nice to meet you, Christian. Uh, what's the name of your store? Uh, so my store is called The Closet PGH. Sean. Nice to meet you, I'm Micah. Nice to meet you, Micah. So what's your, uh, what's the name of your store? Monarch Studios. Nice to meet you, my name is Micah. What's your name? Alec. Nice right, to meet you. Uh, what's the name of your store? Uh, my store is called B-Sides Vintage. How would you describe streetwear? Uh, I would describe street streetwear as clothing that's basically very comfortable yet stylish. That uh, and it, it breaks into a lot of different uh, avenues. I put it in the same category as vintage. It's just finding something that you like, that's unique to you, that resonates with you, and throw it on. Streetwear can be, can be described in, uh, in in many ways. Whether it's um, you know like a Supreme or an up and coming local clothing brand, um, streetwear is like a versatile. Uh, clothing opportunity, I would say. Streetwear is like something that's super vast, and it's a lot of different components to like make overall different looks. I think streetwear is literally anything that you feel like wearing. I would say it's unique to everyone, which makes it great. Like you can put your own twist on it in regards to what you what you love to wear and what makes you comfortable. It could be like just you like the form of things and like structure of things and how they flow or you're like very brand specific and are interested in focusing on a particular brand and head to toe matching it and wearing it. But just everyday, I would say just everyday clothing for the most part is streetwear. Would you consider streetwear as the new standard of clothing and why? I would say so. I think just because it's a lot of streetwear is made with such high quality materials. I think moving forward with the way that earth and the world is moving, like higher quality things should become the standard because they're going to last a lot longer than cheaply made stuff. So I think it's definitely a standard. It's because like it's like the whole like idea of like caring about what you wear but not caring about what you wear. You're seeing like different designer brands adapt like streetwear looks and they're hiring streetwear guys to like be the like lead of their design houses. So you're seeing the impact through all type of different fashions. I'd say yes, because you see a lot of brands that are replicating and making the same style designs. I just think it's something that's comfortable and timeless. It's, you know, people, they like to just walk out of the house wearing something comfortable. Honestly, I would consider va uh, vintage vintage fashion like the new the new up and coming thing. Um, just because the whole um, you know like ecosystem factor, um, you know, shopping sustainable, shopping secondhand um, rather than creating a new garment, um, it's great to reuse a previous garment. That's a good question as well. Uh, I would say it may be the new standard for a lot of the like kind of younger crowd and hipper crowd, but I still think there is like you know, area for everything, whether it be like suiting and whatever basically you want to wear. Like I like a, like a good formal, formal dress wear as well as streetwear too. I think there's room for everything.